Well, good morning. We are at Joaquina Falls. We are getting up to the Larch Mountain Trail. We're gonna summit Larch Mountain, come back down Multnomah Falls, then come back a half mile here. So we've come up the uh, first set of switchbacks here. And now we're just continuing up the drainage to another falls called Ferry Falls. Um, I think we've seen the Columbia River before and you can see it from here. So I'm not gonna walk out to this viewpoint. Um, but yeah, headed up the Joaquina Trail, number 420. So we've already passed one main junction. Here's another one. Um, we wanna go this way to the Larch Mountain Trail. We're 1.9 miles up. Um, and this was another way you could come down, but we're going this way. Larch Mountain, that's not to the summit, that's to the junction with the trail, and then it'll be, I don't know, five miles to the summit or something. So let's see what this one says for you. Um, Devil's Rest Summit. I'm gonna check the map. I think we wanna stay left here on the flatter trail, but uh, I'll check it out. So we've come across a mile. Um, unfortunately, we dropped some, but you can see it's five miles to Larch Mountain. So we have five and like, I don't know, 2,700 feet, maybe closer to 3,000 at the top. And then we're gonna go down this way. This is the main drainage uh, that leads to Multnomah Falls. So maybe this is Multnomah Creek. So we're just heading up, probably have three and a quarter to three and a half to the summit. We cross the main drainage over a log bridge and it's over there. So now we're, there's sort of a side drainage here and I don't exactly know where we're going. Eventually we bend up to the right, but so we still have over three miles. So we've crossed the side drainage on another log bridge. Got all sorts of fuzzies all over me. I remember this part before where it was like rocky. I basically never hiked when I did this in 2015, but uh, it's flatter than I remember, presumably because now I've walked on all sorts of sketchy rock sections in the last nine plus years. Whew, well, We've hit another permit box with no permits, so I can't fill one out. Another junction, two miles to Larch Mountain, apparently, and it's 4.8 back to the highway. Um, but of course, we came up from a longer way, so we've gone, well, more than 4.8, we've gone six. Yeah, we've gone six. So six, 4.8, that's 1.2 extra, plus a half mile between trailheads, 1.7 extra. This actually might only be about 15 total, not 16. But uh, anyway, it'll be on the screen, or it already has been on the screen in the beginning. So two miles to Larch Mountain, I would say definitely over a thousand feet. Still to gain though. We're just in the woods, less than a mile to the summit. 
we're not quite at two hours yet so but we're gonna be over two hours for the eight miles up but still over 4,000 feet or over 4,000 feet it's not bad for just over probably like 16 minute mile average all right so we've hit this little mound with no views this large mountain but then you drop to go out to this lookout point called Sherrard Point. So you can see we're dropping down steps. So we've summited Larch, although it's a very nondescript summit with no views. And I did a little bit of bushwhacking. So I got off trail, but then I found the paved trail. And uh, this is gonna take us out to the little concrete steps with the fence and the platform that labels all the Cascade Mountains. But I don't think you're gonna be able to see any of them. But I'll probably put the picture up from uh, when I did this nine years ago, um, where it was super clear. Ooh, great views of Rainier, St. Helens, Adams Hood, Jefferson. Uh oh, looks like we got some climbing to do. Oh, I'm not alone. labels all the mountains so I got a good picture of Adams or near St. Helens when it was clear got a good view of, good view of Huda it's actually raining which is beautiful then when you look this way Jefferson's out there you just can't see it so it says how far away 22 miles away Mount Hood Pretty cool, but on top of those three in Hood. Apparently Jefferson is the hardest peak to summit in Oregon, what I recently read. So gonna run down. Should be easy to run down. I meant to tell you it took two hours, four minutes to get up here. So like 15 and a half minute miles if it's eight miles up, which it's pretty damn close to eight miles. Um, so somewhere in the 15 to 16 minute range miles up so that's good with for four thousand or over four thousand foot of vert second log bridge and uh, continuing down now along this main drainage. This is the confluence of them right here. Pretty cool walking along the drainage, nice smooth rock. So before when I did this, probably about at this point, I was pretty parched and I uh, just drank the water straight out of the creek. Hey. I just drank the water straight out of the creek, not even knowing that it, you know, it could have Giardia and all sorts of stuff. I was fine. There's one waterfall. Another waterfall, pretty big. I mean, these are like nice, you know, 50 feet tall. I just want to swim in that water. That'd be awesome. I'm sure people do. Um, the trail is starting to get nicer because we're only like, I don't know, a mile and a half from the bottom. You can see, look at all these nice dirt switchbacks down. Here's the view from the bottom of this one. Say so yeah, you could go swim in that pool. I kind of want to, I just, I have football to watch and I have to drive a lot down. So we are heading to the falls viewpoint, um, which now I remember. So you have to take a little spur and drop off the main trail and you come down, taking a shortcut here. You come down right smack on top of the falls 
and then the trail takes you all the way down to the parking lot there. Yeah. Nice little shortcut there. There she is, and there's, yeah, there's all the hundreds of people down there. Look at all that parking. So, pretty cool. There apparently there are 11 switchbacks down. Um, although two of them are right there. They're labeled. This will be quick getting down. We got like a mile down, if that. Great views of the river. Here's a view of your waterfall. So it's broken up into tiers and we're gonna go over a bridge. It should be soon, but we were up there, up at the top. Um, but getting down here pretty efficiently. These switchbacks are actually not too steep and they're ADA accessible. There's the lower, uh, lower viewpoint here. Guess I'll get a picture. We're on the connector trail. And unfortunately, it's a little bit up. And we got a train. Ah. And we're back to Aquina Falls. Ah, that weather was perfect. 